If one is not eating any dietary carbohydrate, mm. um, although any visible carbohydrates from right. vegetable sources or, or grains, yeah, um, uh, and one eats you know two and a half grams of protein per kilogram reference body weight, mm. um, one can still be in ketosis. Yeah, but the ketones go, are somewhat higher when you're at one point five grams per kilo. Yeah. Um, so you know someone can follow a you know, you know the current kind of concept of a carnivorous diet. Mm. Uh, in the uh, you know uh, two to three gram per kilo protein intake range, right, uh, and still have ketones. Um, again, the more insulin resistant a person is, the, the, the greater the tendency for them to be held down. Yeah, the more physical activity someone has, particularly endurance physical activity, that's a factor that helps bring ketones up somewhat. When we do give one point, in, in my study on bicycle racers that we published in 1983, mm. we gave them 1.5 grams per kilo as as um, um, meat and fat yeah. um, with uh, no vegetable matter. Mm -hmm. uh, and their ketones averaged about 2.5 millimolar. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't do a high protein range in that metabolic Ward study to look at the effect of um, more or less doubling the protein intake. Yeah, the, you, the ketones would have been lower than that. They would have been, yeah. There, there were it was a total of twelve women. Half of them remained sedentary. The other half we had uh, add in exercise. We gave them the first week of the very low calorie diet, mm -hmm. um, which had thirty grams of carbs per day. Okay. Um, we gave them the first week of that diet to begin the adaptation process, and then we eased them into exercise by doing half an hour a day the second week of the study, an hour a day of exercise. And this was monitored on a stationary cycle. Mm. And then for the last, so first week, none, half an, half an hour per day, the second week, right. third week, an hour a day. And then weeks four and five, we had them do two hours a day. Mm. Uh, now, this was a, at a very modest uh, pace. This is 60% of peak aerobic power, okay. which uh, for them was, you know, exercising at a, an energy expenditure of about 350 calories per hour. Okay. So they were burning about at, at the two hours per day um, uh, rate, that was about 700 calories per day. And that about equaled the amount of calories they were eating with right. the stat, which is yeah. seven to 800 calories per day. So in theory, they should have been a net zero. And what we, and what, I was pursuing was this concept that exercise, that exercise counters the weight or the resting metabolic rate depression that comes with caloric restriction. I see. So the six women who did n no exercise, mm -hmm. no purposeful exercise other right. than Sat on the know, couch w and, yeah. walking around the metabolic ward. Yeah. Those six women had a 10% reduction in resting metabolic rate that, that occurred in the first week. And then that would, that, reduction in metabolic rate was stable for the rest of the study. Right. So the body sensed immediately that it was in a privation condition, turned the thermostat down by 10%. Yeah. But as they've got the, enough protein to preserve lean body mass, enough minerals to, to, you know, fill in the cracks between the protein and allow the body to maintain uh, physiological functions. Yeah. That 10% was a constant uh, response to the, that degree of caloric restriction. And in, insulin was low enough so that they could mobilize energy out of the fat stores and to mobilize it into mitochondria to be oxidized. Yeah. The so, average, the so average, access, the average yeah. woman in that study lost, uh, six kilograms. Right. In six weeks or mm -hmm. in five weeks. Yeah. Uh, so that was, uh, a, uh, and it was, it was a variation between individuals. Mm. You know, some lost faster, some lost slower. Yeah. Um, but what was fascinating is that the resting metabolic rate to the group that the six who did the exercise, mm -hmm. as we added half an hour, one hour, and then two hours of per week of exercise, again, they came down 10% the first week because then they were doing no exercise, just sure. like the control group. Mm. But then the added exercise caused a progressive further decrease <laughs> in right. resting metabolism. Yeah. So at the end of the five weeks of the intervention, they're the full effect of caloric restriction plus exercise was a 25% right. reduction in resting metabolism. And, and no significant difference in, in, in weight loss. There was no difference in weight loss. Right. 